Hello, my name is Kerry Arthur, and today we're going to have a little chat about this lad, Dark Angel's Master Lazarus. And this is going to feel very conspiracy theory-esque to a lot of you, and that's fine, because it is just, of course, my like subjective opinion. This is just one of those things whereby I have nailed down why this particular model just just doesn't feel worth the 25 quid. Now, I know what you're going to say, a lot of you, well, probably all of you, none of them feel worth what they actually cost. The price of 40k is just raising steadily as it goes, something we're used to, not necessarily happy about, but HQ units especially feel disproportionately expensive compared to other stuff. That is the way it's been for quite some time, and it will remain that way, I assume, just forever. But in this specific instance... 25 quid seems just a bit too much, and I couldn't work out why it seemed a bit too much until I took a look at other comparable HQ units. So we're talking Adrax Agatone. I still think his name sounds like a paint, and I'm, I don't don't like the name, but the model's kind of cool. Um, Torgaridon, Mephiston, and Shrike. These are all Primaris equivalents to Lazarus. When I say equivalents, roughly, you get what I mean. They're all HQ models, they were all in exactly the same price, they were all at £25, and all four of them, for some reason, to me, feel maybe not 100% worth it, but just that little bit more worth it than Lazarus does. And I couldn't work out really why, until I took my attention away from the model itself and focused on what they were standing on. I think the reason I don't think Lazarus feels as important as he should be and doesn't seem worth the same as the others is because of the base he's on, which is a really weird thing to say, but bear with me because I'm going to try and explain it. See, Lazarus, as we can see, is just stood on a normal base. He's just standing there. He doesn't have a particularly heroic pose. He's very much doing the thing of... I'm looking at something, and that's it. There's nothing really else going on. It's not exactly an action pose. It's more of a more of a, like a commandery thing, if you want to put it that way. But he's just standing on a plain base with a bit of rock and some grass on it. That's fine. You know, vast number of models are stood on bases like that. But none of the other guys who are in the same category as him and cost the same amount as him are on anything quite so plain. The most plain out of all of them is, uh, is Agatone himself, and that is not a massively impressive base. I mean, it's fine, it's okay, it's a bit of rock, it's slanted, it's giving him that kind of, that braced pose with the flamer up, ready to fire, but it's giving him a little extra height. It's giving him a little extra personality, it's giving him a little more presence than Lazarus has. And then, when you look at Torgaridon, again, there is, I mean, also, also, the, like, the Larvery Rock is perfectly suited to Salamanders. It, it brings a bit of personality to it because of what it is. Same thing with Torgaridon. He's an Imperial Fist. He is, like, standing on some, some, like, debris. He's standing on part of a fortification that is now on the ground with bullet holes in it. And it's giving him that same that kind of same purposeful pose. He has, he just has a bit more personality to him, and just the fact that he's on something makes him look more important. I mean, there's a reason that people kind of tend to reserve the most kind of flamboyant and, and impressive bases for the leaders of their armies. It's because it gives them something that the rank and file don't have. It's not just about you know, decorations on armour or or special paint jobs, it's all it all culminates into making one particular model stand out. Same thing with Shrike. Shrike is perhaps too far. Shrike is a bit mental. The sheer size of the rubble on which he's standing, it makes him technically, I think, worth <laughs> like worth more than the others just by the amount of plastic you get. In the context of Shrike, especially, him being stealthy, that's ludicrous. But it's impossible to deny that it doesn't give him a bit of personality. He stands out pretty damn clear. And it's similar for Mephiston. It's not a massively impressive base. It's not anything as ludicrous as Shrike. But it adds something to him. All of them 
are standing on something that just adds that little bit extra and makes them feel that little bit more important. And then we've got Lazarus, who is just standing on a rank-and-file base that doesn't look any more interesting or impressive than any other base that you might have in your army. And as such, for me, it makes him look less important than he actually is. When it comes to the illusion of, of like, power, there is something to be said for just making them look a bit bigger, for just bulking out under the feet to give them that extra battlefield presence. And that translates to what you think things are worth and how much things seem worth when you're looking at purchasing them. Talk Aridan, 25 quid is still a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. I mean, if you're going to buy them, I would suggest going to Element Games, but then I would because I, I use them for everything. Um, but he seems much closer to being worth 25 quid than he does. And I'm 90% sure it is just because he looks more impressive with the way that he's posed and with the way that he's based. Same thing with Shrike. He looks way closer to being worth 25 quid than Lazarus. And it's exactly the same with Mephiston. They all look so much more important than someone who is yeah, like filling a very similar role, who is filling that same HQ space. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why I've kind of ended up almost, almost like programming myself to think, well, it's on a shit base. It can't be that impressive. But it's literally translated to me looking at him and just going, I keep seeing people say that 25 quid is just too much for him, but I I think I agree. And yet, I've already paid 20, well, not 25, I've paid 20% off 25, whatever that adds up to, for Torgaridon. I've already bought that model. I've already bought Mephiston as well. Both of them cost the same and I had no qualms. I wasn't like, oh my god, it's way too expensive. I still bought them. But... They don't. They seem more worth it than him, and the only thing that's different is the way they're posed and the way they're based. In terms of the slot they fill, it's the same. In terms of the armor they wear, it's roughly the same. In terms of what they do, yeah, it varies from person to person. But overall, these are similar characters filling a similar role in similar armies, and yet that one does not look like he's worth as much as that one, or that one, or that one, or that one. And the only thing that is different is what is beneath their feet. Weird. Weird, illogical, daft, probably probably a bit mad, but there you go. He just doesn't seem as important. I think that's the only thing that's different. Like, that's the only thing that has changed. He just looks rank and file from, like, the knees down, and it takes away. It takes away a lot. Anyway, that's just a bit of weird rambling on why I just can't... I Just the weird process that my brain went through when I was like, why does he not seem worth the same as the others? I mean, that's got to be it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm assuming you're just going to call me mental, which is absolutely fine. I will not disagree. And, uh, yeah, if... if Click all the things if you like. Uh, I'm currently streaming Rocksmith uh, over on Twitch, so you could you could come and join in the chat and listen to some badly played music if you'd like. And uh, as always, there's the affiliate link in the in the description for Element Games, where you buy stuff, I get something, you get the thing you ordered for cheaper than buying it from Games Workshop, and they stock everything, and you know how it works. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Toodaloo.